going on everyone? It is Shannon with Main Street and Beyond Travel Company and today we have gone beyond. In fact, we're going to outer space because we are here to tour the Kennedy Space Center. So I can't wait to take you guys along with me today. It has been years since I have been here. So we're gonna give you an update. We're gonna try out the food. We're gonna see what exhibits are open. We're gonna see their new safety guidelines in place and more. So let's head inside. into the Kennedy Space Center. We bought our tickets ahead of time online, so all we had to do was scan that QR code on our phone, which was really nice. They did say today's like by far the busiest day that they've ever had. It took a long time to get through security and to get through the ticket thing, and it was not socially distanced at all, so we felt extremely uncomfortable there. But so far inside, it's perfectly fine once you get through all that. Everyone spaced out far enough. Plenty of outdoor walking areas and things like that. They also give you this like nice daily schedule for you here, which has all the show times and everything like that. So let's see what we get into. All right, so as soon as you walk in, you are welcomed by this beautiful and large rocket garden. So we're gonna go explore some of these rockets they have here. To the capsule to launch to space. Bye, Daniel. Don't push, you. Don't push any buttons. Don't Bye. flip any switches. <laughs> Just like Mission Space. <laughs> All right, this rocket is the Atlas Agena at a height of 105.3 feet, diameter of 10 feet. Let's take a look at it. it. Says it launched towards the moon, but ended up going towards the sun. I had to get it back. This is the Juno 2 rocket at 76.7 feet. It says it paved the way for 33 unmanned American missions to the moon carried by more powerful rockets. A girls game it's everyone's game it's not just a political party's game it's about where we are and where we're going space travel benefits us here on earth there's more exploration to come to wear that while I'm here today. So let's see what uh, cool things they have in here. Well, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble finding a NASA t-shirt. They're all over the place. I absolutely love it. Lots of cool stuff. They have tons of super neat magnets. I don't know, I really like these. I really like the space shuttle one. That's really nice. I like that a lot. All right, I did find a shirt I think I like. I think that's really cute. So I'm gonna get that one. Look at how cute this little side purse is to you. I really like that. Let's see what's over here. These bags. I like those. I really like these wine glasses here. They're so cute. They look like little outer space wine glasses. I love it. So we have decided 
to make our way to the way back of the park and we came to the Atlantis Space Shuttle, so we're gonna head inside right now. Here you can see they strap themselves into their sleeping bag. Their computer, book. Looks like they even have their own little toilet on board the International Space Station here or inside. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty nifty. It is the Astro Van. Looks a shuttle launch experience here it is it currently at a 30 minute wait and it's also a 30 minute experience so i think we're going to skip on that today uh but they do have that here inside the space shuttle building if you guys are interested walking out of the space space shuttle center that's hard to say is the docking station it looks like they have space dots normally it doesn't look like they're open right now maybe later they'll be open those definitely are closed over there but this could be open later so we can get some Space dots. All right, so as soon as we got out of the Space Shuttle Center, we did see that the Space Dots was open, so I decided to go ahead and get a cup just to try it for you guys, and I got the cookies and cream. They also had like a rainbow, a chocolate, a vanilla, but, and she said this might be really cold, so let's try it. Oh, it's cold. Space Dots. Space is cold. Or is it hot? Mm. Those are really good though. I mean, just like dipping dots, but they're still really good. Really refreshing because it's really hot out today. Mm. All right, up next, we're gonna travel to Mars. <laughs> NASA and get a feel for what it takes to have a 
career in space exploration. Plans are underway. These are some replicas of some of the rovers currently on the planet Mars right now. Hopefully we can get humans there soon. So inside the Mars area here, it's just like a few little things to show you like the Land Rovers that they have right now. They do have the show that plays approximately every 30, 45 minutes or so. If you guys are interested in seeing that, you can see the Land Rover behind me here. But yeah, Mars exhibit's pretty small, but there's a lot of cool stuff and kids can do like an example launch and things like that in here. All right, so the Mars thing was actually like a live show and it had just started when we got in there and it was already like packed inside. Um, so we're gonna possibly come back to that. I did see on here the time schedule for it now. So maybe plan your day a little bit better than I have so far, just because everything's on like a schedule. So you really have to plan out when you are doing all the shows and the theater experiences and things because there's honestly just a couple exhibits to open and then all the rest are shows. So take a look at the times before you come and that way you can plan your day out a little better. All right, so new plan. So now that we've looked over the times, we're actually gonna go ahead and get a light lunch right now at the Orbit Cafe. I'm gonna put up stuff here for that in just a minute. And then we're gonna go check out the IMAX theater because that, in like 25, 30 minutes, they have a Journey to Space 3D show uh, that we're gonna check out. So hopefully we can eat um, pretty fast and then get over there and just in time for the 3D show. Alright, you can see the menu in here. You have burgers, sandwich, and entrees. You do have salads. They also do have some desserts, so we're going to try some of these entrees and see what we get. They have typical things like burgers, uh, chicken, hamburgers, burgers, pizza, and things like that. Alright, so here in the Orbit Cafe, I really honestly couldn't decide what I wanted, so I got the creamy mac and cheese, which looks really good, and then they also just have like a little Caesars pizza, which just sounded good too, so I'm sure both will just taste pretty basic, but ooh, it's nice and big and fluffy, it actually looks really good, it's actually a pretty large piece of pizza too, so let's dive into these here in just a second. pizzas like this and things, so this is really good to me. Alright, going in for the macaroni. That's surprisingly pretty good as well. Very, very cheesy. I actually really like this. So we headed over to the IMAX area where they have the theater, but there's also an exhibit over here to the left. So while we wait for one of our show times, you can see this little exhibit over here. Not too big, it doesn't look like, but let's go check it out. See like all the like model stairs here that they have to climb up. Oh my goodness. I mean there's an elevator right there, but look at all the stairs if they have a malfunction or something. That is crazy. Alright, so we just got out of the little show inside the IMAX theater here at Kennedy Space Center. It was pretty nice. They basically just like debriefed us on everything going on in NASA right now, their future projects, the projects they're working on now. And they do play different things all during the day so that just happened to be the one that we went to they also have like movies and like space 3d movies and stuff like that but we just went to a quick 15 20 minute one uh since we're doing other stuff here okay right behind me here is the astronaut training center which unfortunately the astronaut training experience which is unfortunately not open right now it'll probably reopen once everything's not back to normal here but what's nice is with kennedy space center 
if you buy a ticket for this year, you do get in free for next year too for another visit. So we came today, we'll probably be able to come again sometime next year and check out some more things once they're open. Like another thing that's closed is the guided bus tours of the complex, which is something we would really like to do and see, to see the launch pads and see the uh, vehicle assembly building and different things on NASA's property. So again, if you come right now, um, yes, some things are closed and different, but you'll get a free ticket to come back next year. So not too bad. All right, up next, we are going to go inside the nature and technology exhibit. So let's head on in. Kennedy Space Center is on Merritt Island. I believe this is here because they wanted to show the natural habitat of the original island. So they have a lot of the swamp animals out and just information on them. So nothing too spacey, but they do have like a lot of information about all the animals and plants that naturally live on Merritt Island before Kennedy Space Center came over here and they still do protect this land, which is great. All right, and last up on our day here at Kennedy Space Center today, we have our final exhibit, which is the one I've been waiting for, which is the United States Astronauts Hall of Fame. So let's head inside. All right, so inside the Hall of Fame, there's actually two seven minute videos you're gonna watch as soon as you come in and then it kind of lets you out into some other things, into the exhibit. talking a lot about what it means to be a hero and so we're in the inspired booth here you can see a lot of the astronauts said they were inspired by early superheroes they were inspired by other people studying space when they were young let's take a look Curious. They are curious about science and the world around them. They played with a lot of things when they were young like this. Building trains, building rocket ships, playing with their telescope. This is the Gemini ca capsule 9A. Oh my goodness, look at how tiny and they would be in there for so long. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, after you walk through all of the capsules and what it means to be a hero, you make your way into the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame. Let's take a look at some of them here. They have a very large statue here of Alan B. Shepard, the first American in space. There are just so many, so many, so many. Look at all this. Look at all of them. Oh my goodness. All right, well, finishing up the Astronaut Hall of Fame, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up our day here at Kennedy Space Center. It is a very quick drive, only about an hour from the Orlando area. So if you're at Disney World, it makes for a great day trip there. Also, um, there's plenty to do, to do for families and kids, especially right now where you can come this year, but then also get a ticket back for free for next year. So until next time, guys, stay magical. All right, here on our vlog, we have Daniel to say what he thought of the Kennedy Space Center. What'd you think, bud? It was really cool. I really, I think the coolest thing here was the, uh, the simulator ride. I thought that was really, really cool. Yeah, so what happened is after I finished the vlog there, we did actually get to run back to the simulator ride to go on that. That was a pretty cool experience. Um, pretty bumpy for kids, but I mean, he liked it. It was his favorite thing. So maybe not ride it if you have back problems or neck problems, because it was pretty bumpy, but it was really cool, a lot of fun. So again, just wrapping up today's vlog. What do you think? Kennedy Space Center, one out of 10. Uh, 10. 10? Heard it here first. Heard it here first from the kids. They love Kennedy Space Center.